Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be doing something a bit different by taking a look at five things you didn't know about Dr. Edgar Zombos. It is I, the terrifyingly brilliant and startlingly good-looking Dr. Edgar George Zombos. So the idea for this video came to me during a Garden Warfare 2 livestream I did a few weeks back. Whilst playing on Z-Tech Factory, I stumbled across a number of certificates and other awards displayed on the wall that Zombos had gained over his lifetime, or death time. But yeah, we're going to take a look at some interesting facts that focus on some of Dr. Zomboss's achievements. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. Now, this first fact is quite a surprising one and might actually show that Zomboss may not be all bad and that he has a real fondness of cats. So as you can see from this certificate, Zomboss donated his liver to the Van Zeepel Orphanage for cats. Now, I know Zomboss is a zombie and already dead, so he probably didn't need his liver anyway. However, he was still kind enough to donate his liver to some hungry kitties. So he's not a complete brain-eating monster. He does like them kitty cats. Also, interestingly, another fact about Zomboss and animals is that in the comics he has a pet goldfish called Ziggy, as well as a hedgehog called Mr. Stubbins. So yeah, it turns out he's not anti-every living creature on Earth, just as pesky humans and plants, of course. Number two is that Zomboss dropped out of college. That's right, Zomboss is a college dropout. Unfortunately, we have no name of which college he went to, but we have a certificate he received for failing, and it's actually quite amusing. It reads... Zombos has achieved the monumental achievement of not completing a single class at community college and serves as an example to others that hard work and perseverance is theirs to dispose of. Again, we have no name for this college, but perhaps he went to a zombie college where failing is what all good zombies do, hence why he got the certificate. I don't know. But despite this, if we take a look at what it says in the original Plants vs. Zombies almanac, he does have a degree and of course a doctorate in Thanatology, which is the study of death. So even if he is crazy and wants to eat all of our brains, you can't deny he is a smart cookie. Speaking of brains, the next fact is that Dr. Zombus came first in the second annual brain eating competition. I wonder who won the first one. Let's hope it's not Crazy Dave, else we are all in big trouble. So yeah, I mean, we shouldn't be surprised by this fact, really. If you're going to be the leader of the zombies that endlessly want brains, you've got to be a pretty good brain eater yourself. Got to brain your way to the top. But you can fake your way to the top. Number four is also an interesting one and also potentially gives us an insight into how the battle between plants and zombies may have begun. So when both Dr. Zombos and Crazy Dave were younger, they entered a science fair together, but unfortunately for Zombos, Dave won. This is possibly when Zombos and Dave's rivalry began. I mean, you can tell that Zombos was very upset by his defeat. I mean, look at his little face. Maybe this was his first defeat. And from this newspaper cutting, we can assume that further down the line when Zombos starts to resent Dave, he defaced the article with the word cheat. Now, I haven't looked into any further information on the origins of Dave and Zomboss's rivalry. However, if this is something you are interested in finding more about and want me to do a video on, let me know in the comments below. The final fact in this video sparks room for lots of theories around the creation of plants and zombies we see in the PVZ universe. So, Zomboss managed to get on the cover of a magazine called Holy Moly, the magazine with all the stuff for being the inventor of the year. Now, what's really interesting about this is what Zomboss is holding, which of course is a plant pot. However, what's more interesting is this strange jalapeno zombie hybrid, which although looks pretty hilarious, begs the question as to whether Zomboss has the means to create his own plants and whether some of the plants that Dave uses to defend his home were actually created by Zomboss himself. But maybe we'll save an investigation into that for another day. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any other interesting facts about Dr. Zomboss in the comments below. But other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.